where to visit in Thailand, how to book hotel in Thailand. Bangkok has a hustling night of some of the best market shopping and is a backpacker hot spot. Plus, its historical sites and fabrical and culture make it a well-rounded and fascinating place to visit. The city has some of the most varied spices and tasty street food I have ever tried. Here is my ultimate bank of travel guide to help you plan your Thailand experience. How to book a hotel in Thailand that I'm showing you now. What to expect in Bangkok? Language. Thai is the local language, although all young people are taught basic English at school and many signs were written in English. Currency. Thai but is the local currency. Credit cards and banks. ATMs are common, while most places accept credit cards. It is wise to use cash where to possible as card fraud can be a big problem. Let's talk about climate. Bangkok is hot, humid throughout the year, with average highs above 90 degrees Fahrenheit and lows around 70 degrees throughout the year. April is the hottest month. September is the wettest and December is the coldest. The peak season. Rain is the most common between May and October, meaning most winters come between November and April. Culture. It is considered good to eat directly off a pork. It's customary to use a pork to push food onto a spoon and eat from that. Also, be sure to cover up your eyebrows and knees when visiting temples out of respect. Water. Don't drink the tap water. Stick to bottle, please. Now I am telling you where to visit in Thailand and how to book hotel in Thailand. Getting around in Bangkok. Getting around Bangkok is easy using the BTS Squiten and elevated train system throughout the city. Keep the rules in mind when planning your itinerary for Bangkok. Sukumbit. Home to the upmarket business center of the city and many of the most popular nightlife venues. You will also find the best places to shop here within Slam Square. Riverside. You will find most of the most luxury hotels scattered along the river offering stunning views and a good base to exploring most of the tourist attractions. Khao Saan Road. This is the back place center in the Bangkok. This is a back paper central in Bangkok and is home to some popular cheap hotels, a range of bars along with historic Parasuman Fort, one of the oldest remaining fortifications in the city. Unfortunately, the sky train isn't super accessible from this area, so keep that in mind.
Ratna Koshing, the old town. This is where many of the historic sites of the city are located, including the Grand Place and emerging Buddha statue at Wapo. Siam. Day to the day, this part of the city is a busy financial district, but at night, it transforms with vibrant and illicit nightlife. You can find great street food here, but you also might encounter some brothels. Dusit. The part of the city is where King Rama he built his sprawling Dusit place complex. The district is home to most of the political and administrative buildings of the government along with a wide range of museums and temples. Why to stay in Bangkok? Bangkok has a wide range of accommodations to satisfy any budget. If you are looking for a budget stay, check out hotels, hostels and rentals around Khao San and Bang Lampo, where public transportation is as connected in this part of the city. You will find more budget to mid-range options and lots of things to do. If you are looking for a mid-range to luxurious stay, I prefer the neighborhoods of Silom, Sukhumbi or along the river in Bangkok. Here are some of the top hotels in Bangkok and my favorite places to stay. Banyan Tree Bangkok, a luxury hotel at the heart of the city. The Banyan Tree has wonderful views from the rooftop restaurant, rajab rooms, an amazing health center and an outdoor swimming pool with its own great city views. Mandarin Oriental Bangkok, a spectacular luxury hotel and its own gardens, waterfront locations and some tastefully decorated rooms. The Mandarin is Oriental is a top and luxury hotel in Bangkok. Lux Languin Hotel. This modern boutique hotel will fool you into thinking it will break the bank with rooms starting at 50 US dollar per night. You can enjoy all the amenities you need in a sleek and comfortable space. It is also in a great location to walk to some restaurants and some bars. But it is slightly outside of central Bangkok, about a 50 minutes walk. Shangri La Hotel. This resort offers more amenities, restaurants, and services, and you could believe situated on Chao Pra River and just a short train right away from downtown. The Shangri-La Hotel offers a grand and luxurious stay. Oikod Swiss Bangkok. This modern and bright hotel has a beautiful terrace, garden and pool area. In addition to super comfy rooms, the view is stunning and the location is perfect for exploring plus they offer a continental breakfast and free wi-fi it's high rated for a season where to eat in bangkok
and the Thai night landscape in today. Bangkok has been voted for the best in the world when it comes to street food. So you have to try some authentic dishes while you are visiting. The best place to grab street food is from the local markets. High rated street food stalls or join a Bangkok food tour. If you journey Asian flavors, hearty and some spice, Bangkok will have a to you if it's your first time in bank thailand i recommend trying some of the classic dishes like som tiam khao swai pad thai la masamen curry or penang curry i have outlined some of the best restaurants and street food stalls to eat from in bangkok street food stalls The fast food. With countless food stalls and markets throughout the city, you can camp in Bangkok without trying a few of the local flavors. Street food is a huge part of the local culture and something not to be missed. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a bit intimidated by the offerings of street vendors upon arriving in Thailand. This street food guide will provide first time travelers with some insight into Thai street and culture. Some of the top street food stalls in Bangkok are here. Ranjal Phai, female owned and the only street food vendor included in the Michelin star guide to Bangkok. This place is always busy but worth the wait. Nihom Ring Kong Plan to come outside of lunch hours, otherwise you'll be waiting in line for a while. Sukumbit Swai 33 Offering super Thai food at the greatest prices. This vibrant area of the city is where many locals mix with visitors to grab a bite to eat before hitting the town. <coughs> Lampo Chi Thai Strand Lampo Chi is an hidden strand right along the Kwai Canal serving delicious Thai food, curries and more. I love the atmosphere here perfect for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Lampo Chi Thai Strand is my favorite one, Thai and Asian. Pal, the house of Satron. Pali serves modern Thai seafood is one of the Bangkok's iconic landmarks. The house of Satron, which is a natural heritage building built in 1889. Pali's amazing reviews speak for themselves. Shirokko at Libua. While the international and Mediterranean cuisine here is the speciality tasty. It is a little on the price side, especially by Thai standards, but the amazing views is on the 63 third floor, but make this perfect place to enjoy a cocktail or two. Mango tree. Mango tree offers great Thai food and a full menu of wine, beers and cocktails just steps from the bustling business district on Silom Road. Plus, the restaurant is surrounded by a great garden of ancient mango trees making for a special atmosphere. Nangin Gin Kui, Bangkok Private Dining Known by as the best dining experience in Bangkok, 
this small and cozy restaurant is in a city apartment offering some great view river views it really feels like you are a guest at a friend's house or for dinner it's the perfect place to place have a excellent thai food and meet other travelers now i'm telling you how to budget your money in thailand and thailand nightlife today Bangkok is lively, eccentric and traditional all in one. It is such a unique experience. There are a handful of captivate neighborhoods and hot spots to explore. Dishes to be eaten, stalls to shop and historic establishments to see. Plus, you will find luxurious shops, spas, hotels here. If you are into that kind of thing, here are the top things to do when traveling in Bangkok. Chatu Chak Weekend Market With over 15,000 stalls with Chatu Chak Weekend Market offers everything from clothing and counterfeit football shirts to fresh food and souvenirs. It's a great introduction to Thai shopping. Riverport Tour there is no better way to get a full tour of the neighborhoods in Bangkok than by taking one of the various sightseeing riverboat tours. <coughs> Ancient Siam Established in 1972, the Ancient Siam of the Siam city is large outdoor museum park shaped to reflect the map of Thailand and has beautiful representations of the country's oldest and most sacred buildings. Visit the Thompson House. The home of the greatest American entrepreneur in Thailand from the 1950s-60s, the house of the silk magnet Jim. Thompson is now a museum and is surrounded by beautiful natural gardens. Explore Bangkok's parks. The tropical surroundings of Bangkok are ideal for parks and gardens. The Lumhini Park in Siam are the largest in the city. Those around Para Suman Fort also offer a nice escape from the busy atmosphere of the city. Muay Thai The Thai national sports is more than just kickboxing. It is an amazing blend of martial arts and fighting techniques. Muay Thai matches are regularly held in stadiums around the city. There are also classes offered for those looking to learn the basics. Grand Place and what Po. After heart of the Bangkok's historic attractions, these spectacular buildings show the wealth and privilege and enjoyed old Thai kings. It also shows off some of the best agriculture and on a decoration in the country. Take a food tour. If you let the stomach dictate your travels, there is no better way to explore Bangkok than with a guided food tour. I can recommend Bangkok nighttime temples, markets and food tour enough you will get to taste some of Thailand's most iconic dishes and explore the city's private night markets. 
Amitas Thai cooking class. While most videos get to just taste the excellent Thai food, a visit to see Amit offers an insight into how to make Thai tasty Thai dishes. She also has a lovely half garden where fresh ingredients are picked for the dishes. Visit the weekend night vintage chain market. This is the best place to find vintage and pre-loved clothing and items in Bangkok. The Road 5 market has everything from antiques to vintage car parts and a great selection of street food stalls. People watch in Suai Cowboy. Some home of the seediest bars in the city. This red light district is near Sukumbit Street and has a range of bars and cafes. It's a great place to see the nightlife of the city go by. Bizang visiting the Chaturjog weekend market in Bangkok. Visiting the Chaturjog weekend market in Bangkok, Thailand is retail heaven as soon as I walking I just about died from excitement everything you could possibly think of is sold at this market so if you wanna bring some home a little something something definitely planned or coming here I get some mango and sticky rice put on my grim face and got to work here what you need to know about the Chaturjogan market in Bangkok. Chaturjog weekend market or Chaturjog market is one of the world's largest weekend markets and covers an area of 35 acres and more than 15,000 booths selling goods from every part of Thailand. The market has covered two lakh visitors each day, Saturday to Sunday, with 70% being Thai and 30% foreign. Almost everything can be found here at bargaining price, not a tourist price. And most vendors actually come from local factories or are local artisans. If you can dream it up, Chatujak market likely has it. Here you will be amazed at the incredible variety of goods where it's a Thai lantern, an antique painting, a stylish new pair of jeans or something more exotic, a new pet snake. I could not believe my eyes. You could buy a pet squirrel on a string nibble on some fried insects have a local artist hand paint everything you want take home a giant goldfish score some new leather kicks i would honestly have an easier time listing things you couldn't find here there are even companies to arrange international shoppings for big spenders i had some self-control and left with my Denity, some tinctures, and enough Thai bath to get me through the rest of my stay in Thailand. I highly recommend trying the food, mango sticky rice, in a particular fave. While it's a bit of maze, enjoy the experience, and you're sure to stumble upon some seriously good surprise. With 35 records of retail heaven ahead, 
I knew I could easily spend a day or three at the market. For the first timers like me, navigating Chatuchok market some impossible, luckily the supermarket of actions based on category. So you are looking for something in particular you can find with the exact locating on the map. My advice if you are going first time is to get lost. You will be enhanced by the colors and smells surrounding you and your senses will be on their own adventures. Now I am telling you why to visit in Thailand and how to book hotel in Thailand and how to budget your money in Thailand. As someone raised my frugal parents, I have always then been pretty good at finding a good idea and knowing a fair price. When I see one, I turned on haggy mood and spent about three hours weaving and bobbing through the cramped isles of goodies like an experienced gypsy. At one point, I almost caught a case of overstimulation but luckily found the strength to get on. Don't hand immediately head to Chatuchak if it's your first time in Bangalore, Thailand. It's best to do something exploring and price shopping around the city to see what the going rate for a certain course and what a fair price is. Be wary of overpriced goodies in Bangkok, but also realize that if you are a visitor to this country, respect the culture, recognize that people are trying to make a living and go get your shop on. Take the Skytrain BTS to Mochi Station. Take exit number one and follow the crowd until you see rows of shade pendors. Keep walking, and entrance will be on the right. The hours is Saturday, Sunday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Chatuchak Market is amazing. Our first time, we did exactly what you said. Get lost. We just wandered around. The finally came up on a foot. Mass's place, it was perfect. Walk around for sh hour shopping and eating, and then get a foot massage so you can go for another few hours. I'm someone California native who left my career in corporate finance to become a world traveler since I've been making it these things. Now I'm telling you where to visit in Thailand, how to book hotel in Thailand, how to budget your money in Thailand and give you tips to spend your money in Thailand, the Thailand budget trip, Thailand budget trip 2003 and Thailand life of today. There were destination, destinations, Thailand types of trip, lifestyle, photography, travel shows. The, in Thailand, I am explaining everything to you. Now, I am telling you another things about their cultures and cities and their hobbies, their tastes. Especially, I like to spend the Kausan Road or if you want to spend money, you can spend in Sukhumvet, Suai 3, Suai Chao.
anything you could possibly think is so cold in market so if you want to bring some little something or something definite plan coming i grab some of the move things in thailand that is chatuchak market